Hi, this is Antonio and today is the 5th of March 2017, Sunday, and the time now is 11.52 minutes. This is my second video. On my first video I talked about my decision amongst many others to read all of my books from start to finish. I will briefly summarize it. The first book in this process was The Art of War, published by Capstone, written by Zun Tzu, a Chinese master, which also includes the sayings of Hu Tzu, another Chinese master, with an introduction by Tom Butler Bottom, an author based in Oxford, England, who emphasizes the importance of the book, despite being very old, to our present times, especially in business and also in life. So anyway, I've taken three more books, and these are Think by Simon Blackburn, published by Oxford University Press. It's a, an introduction to philosophy. It's a book that briefly gives uh, an overview of the main philosophical topics and the main philosophers, what they had to say on issues about the nature of knowledge, the nature of mind, the nature of the self, the nature of free will, the nature of God, the nature of reasoning, and the nature of the world, concluding with recommendations on what to do. The second book that I have started is The Big 100, written by Jeremy Kurdi, not Jeremy Corbyn, the labor leader. It is about the 100 business tools you need to succeed. As the subtitle says, it is about 100 business ideas, processes, strategies, that you need to succeed in business. It's been published by the McGraw Hill companies. And the third book that I have started, I'm halfway through both books, I started another one which is Mathematicians, Spies and Hackers. It's, it's a book about coding and cryptography. It's written by Juan Gomez, published by the National Geographic in they, our Mathematical World series. It's a difficult book, but equally important. However, what I would like to talk to you today, what I would like to partake with you today, apart, of course, from the obvious fact of my communicating by video, made possible through YouTube, Facebook, and a Nikon camera, are three things or three concepts. Number one, on things that are easy to do yet important and powerful. Number two, on things that are simple to do yet important and powerful. Number three, on things that are free to do yet important and powerful. Of this kind of things that are easy to do simple to do and sometimes free to do that I would like to talk to you about is because as it often happens to me and I'm sure sometimes to you and to many other people is that we either fail to do them or tend not to do them well with the sense of importance, power and seriousness they deserve because they are precisely easy, simple, and sometimes free to do. And I think that is a mistake. Here's what I mean by this. There are the other classes of things, the opposite of the above mentioned classes of things. That is, things that are difficult to do, things that are complex to do, and things that are expensive to do. Of these classes of things that are difficult, complex, 
and expensive to do, we naturally undertake them with the sense of importance, power and seriousness they deserve because precisely they are difficult, complex and expensive to do. Of these classes of things, we do not need a reminder for us to do them and to do them well. It is the class of things that I, I am talking to you about today that need constant reminder for us to do them and to do them well. It is this class of things that need constant reminder of their importance, their power and their seriousness because although they are free in most cases, simple in most cases, easy in most cases to do due to our technological, scientific and cultural progress, nonetheless they must, they retain their importance, their power, their seriousness and their significance in our lives. It is these things that need constant reminder because once a thing becomes easy, simple or even free to do, we lose the sense of importance, power and seriousness about them. We do not do them or we fail to do them well because precisely they have become easy, simple and free to do. This is what I wanted to talk to you about today. As a way of example, take Google, Hotmail, Yahoo and other free services on the internet. And in this regard, free to the end user does not mean cost free for the service providers. They of course endeavor to make their exorbitant amounts of money somehow else. As a way of example, services, facil email facilities and services that are free on the internet are a good reminder of the things that are easy, simple and free to do, to use, yet they are important, powerful and significant. You can add to this list Facebook. Twitter, YouTube and other internet services that are free and easy and available and also other services offline. So to conclude, I would quote from President Jeff Kennedy speech at Rice University, September 12, 1962. President Jeff Kennedy said, and I quote, we choose to go to the moon, we choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. So this is it for the purposes of this video and the time now is 12.01 on Sunday the 5th of March and uh, I wish you have a good day and I hope this helps and uh, I see you next time.